Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Now I know it's been a long time since I made a video. It's been about three weeks. I apologize for that. I have been super busy working and stuff so I wanted to go ahead and get caught up filming. I'm going to go ahead and try and make a better schedule for filming so I can get back into the groove of things now. So this current video I'm going to be doing for you guys is my weekly favorites. I know it's a little late for monthly favorites but I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been loving for the last week or so. So if you guys want to see the items I've been loving for the last week just keep on watching. Okay so now first things first let's start with foundation because my skin has been going crazy I got super oily in my t-zone over the last like four weeks or so it is really weird it's only happened to me once before but it was like for a week and nothing longer so I had to switch up my foundation now I was using the Dior nude skin foundation I was in shade 20 I actually ended up returning it because it made me like really slick after like two hours of wearing it so I went ahead and went back and went and got a heavier foundation now it's not crazy heavy compared to like some of the ones they make like the Kat Von D is really really thick and stuff like that but the one I love and I use is from Clinique it is the even better compact makeup now I have used the liquid version of this before and I loved it it actually really evened out my skin tone I'm not having a lot of trouble with the evening out of skin tone but I love the texture of this so I'm gonna go and show you guys it is clear you know like the um, silver packaging I don't want to blind you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and open it and that is what it looks like. I am in number one linen and it matches me perfectly. Absolutely love it. And it, let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys. And that is what it looks like. My camera will focus. And it just goes on my, my skin really smoothly. It is not over mattifying and it's not super dewy it's like right in the middle this is actually geared towards people who have oily even dry to oily skin so it's crazy that this can kind of span both spectrums so if you guys are looking for something and you're like that with me where you're kind of dry on the cheeks and then you're very um, oily in the t-zone go ahead and try this because it works like a dream. Okay, now to top off that, I have been using the Super Powder Double Face Powder from Clinique. I am in shade Matte Ivory, which is 01. And I absolutely love this. Now this is a powder foundation. You can use this alone. You can use this on top of any foundation you want to. It gives that little extra coverage. Obviously it can be built up because it is a powder foundation. And that's what mine looks like. And I absolutely love this. This combination has been perfect for my dryness on my cheeks and then the oiliness on my t-zone so if you guys are a dry combination like me check out this combination at Clinique because it works so beautifully and I wear this every single day I'm wearing it today love it okay now onto cheeks I have been using bronzer like a crazy person um, about three weeks ago though I got this with a gift with purchase and I'm absolutely in love with it and it's from Estee Lauder and it's the Bronze Goddess Soft Matte Bronzer now since it's a gift with purchase it doesn't say what shade it is but I think it's actually medium and that's what it looks like and it just looks so good even though I am pale it just looks so beautiful on my skin and I know it looks a little orange right there but it's not it's actually a really pretty bronze color when you put it on your skin and they actually still carry the bronze goddess I know I saw it there they have the big big one so I'm really glad I got the small one so I could see how much I love it so I think this will probably last me till like next year when it comes out at summertime so I think then I'll pick up a big one but right now been using this and I barely made a dip in it so I really love this and highly recommend Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. Now onto eyeshadow. Now I have been using one palette this whole entire week and that has been the Naked palette from Urban Decay. I love this palette. It's still one of my favorites. The shades I have been wearing are Naked and then I will put Dark Horse which is still one of my favorites of all time and then put Sin just on the lid. It's actually what I'm wearing today just very lightly and I absolutely love that combination. It's just like my go-to one when I just don't want to have to think about my eyeshadow and I'm just like ready to go out the door. So I love that look. This is still a great investment if you don't own the Naked palette. I know there's Naked 2, Naked 3 and now they're coming out with the Naked Basics too. How exciting is that because I love my Naked Basics. So if you guys want to go ahead and check this out, go for it or even try that look and let me know if you love it because I love it for an everyday wear. Now for my lips, I have been loving something I actually picked one of these up because my sister Sasha she had told me that she loved this she had it in her purse and she was like showing me the shade that she had and it was gorgeous and I'm talking about the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Long Wear Lipsticks she I think she had fuchsia I don't know I'll ask her again and put it down below but it's gorgeous on her skin it just looks so good and the one I ended up getting was Melted Berry and I absolutely love this I got this because I like the shade of it it looks like it's very autumn appropriate and with you know the last day of summer is the 22nd i know california doesn't really turn to autumn for like another month after that but i just thought this was a really appropriate shade because it's like a berry red and it lasts a super long time so i'm gonna go and swatch it for you guys and that's what that looks like and it's 
like one swatch it'll look more like that and then the deeper you build it'll look like deeper how this side is so I absolutely love these they are not drying on the lips so I love them so much and I highly recommend them I love the fact they bring out um, additional shades really quickly after they launched the first couple I think it was like six or seven shades so I love these ones and this one and um, I was looking at fig as well look like they'd be great it's autumn time fall time shades so check those out if you haven't don't worry about it they're not maddening on the lips or anything they are just they feel so good and creamy and they are so pigmented if you guys have not checked these out swatch them as soon as you can next is skincare and that is really important when if you want a flawless complexion flawless foundation you have to take care of your skin and you know with me having oil it doesn't mean i'm necessarily over exfoliating because i'm not um it could be that i just needed a little extra moisture i know you think oil i don't want to put lotion on that but you actually your skin does that if you are not putting enough moisture into your skin and first thing i tried which i've loved since like two years ago i believe is the Embre lace lap cream concentrate and this is what it looks like and i was using this religiously under my makeup at all times it makes your skin so soft and it didn't break me out or anything like that i still really do enjoy it and i think that it is really worth the purchase and even though the ember lease is worth every cent that it cost i went ahead and i started trying the clinique moisture surge extended thirst relief gel cream because i feel like my problem is deeper into skincare and i wanted to go ahead and try that and i've heard amazing things about it from multiple people and this is the gel cream what it looks like inside the lid and in the pot that's a lot even for a sample now what happens is you can use this every single day or you can use this for five minute intervals like maybe once to twice a week to go ahead and give yourself like a five minute mask and it feels amazing i did it last night it feels so good my skin felt so soft when i woke up I'm not oily like the last previous days that I did skincare before I went to sleep I would be greasy in the morning and that I'm not used to because I'm never like that but to see this and put it on and then wake up and I'm not slick that is crazy to me so I absolutely love this and highly recommend it if you guys have not tried it I will link it below if you're looking to check it out and the prices on clinique.com so there you have it those are my favorites for the week I hope you guys enjoyed everything I shared with you and if you guys love them as well put it in the comment section below I'm so sorry I've been gone for three weeks but I also have some videos coming up I need to film for sure like I have my anniversary on YouTube giveaway that needs to go out ASAP but I'm trying to figure out the last little things I want to throw into the giveaway and stuff like that so I promise I will get caught up on my videos and I love you all and I thank you for sticking with me through my little time gap there and I will talk to you guys next time